When Luis Elizondo ran the Defense Department Initiative, called the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, or AATIP, he compiled a list of extraordinary logic-defying capabilities most commonly associated with unidentified aerial phenomena sightings. He calls those traits the five observables. Section 51. Hi everyone, what's up guys? Those Geek here with Section 51. Big thanks again for your support to the channel and welcome to the new subscribers. As always, first, please hit that like button and share this new video right now to keep supporting Section 51. And don't forget, of course, to watch this video until the end. When Luis Elizondo ran a small team at the US Department of Defense investigating military-based reports of unidentified aerial phenomena, the UAP, he heard numerous such accounts by some of the most highly trained aeronautic experts in the military. They describe objects that appeared to be intelligently controlled possessing aerodynamic capabilities that far surpass any currently known aircraft technology. When Elizondo ran the Defense Department initiative, called the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, or AATIP, he compiled a list of extraordinary, logic-defying capabilities most commonly associated with unidentified aerial phenomena sightings. He calls those traits the five observables. Number one, anti-gravity lift. Unlike any known aircraft, these objects have been sighted overcoming the Earth's gravity with no visible means of propulsion. They also lack any flight surfaces, such as wings. In the Nimitz incident, the witnesses described the crafts as tubular shaped like a tic-tac candy. Number two, sudden and instantaneous acceleration. The objects may accelerate or change direction so quickly that no human pilot could survive the G-forces. They would be crushed. In the Nimitz incident, radar operators say they tracked one of the UFOs as it dropped from the sky at more than 30 times the speed of sound. Black Aces Squadron Commander David Fravor, the Nimitz-based fighter pilot who was sent to intercept one of the objects, likened its rapid side-to-side -side movements, later captured on infrared video, to that of a ping-pong ball. Radar operators on the USS Princeton, part of the Nimitz carrier group, tracked the object accelerating from a standing position to traveling 60 miles in a minute an astounding 3,600 miles an hour. According to manufacturer Boeing, the FA-18 Super Hornet fighter jet typically currently reaches a maximum speed of Mach 1.6, or about 1,200 miles an hour. Number 3. Hypersonic velocities without signatures. If an aircraft travels faster than the speed of sound, it typically leaves signatures like vapor trails and sonic booms. Many UFO accounts note the lack of such evidence. Number four, low observability or cloaking. Even when objects are observed, getting a clear and detailed view of them, either through pilot sightings, radar or other means, remains difficult. Witnesses generally only see the glow or haze around them. Number 5. Transmedium travel Some UAP have been seen moving easily in and between different environments, such as space, the Earth's atmosphere, and even water. In the Nimitz incident, witnesses described a UFO hovering over a churning disturbance just under the ocean's otherwise calm surface, leading to speculation that another craft had entered the water. 
USS Princeton radar operator Gary for Ease later confirmed from a Navy sonar operator in the area that day that a craft was moving faster than 70 knots, roughly two times the speed of nuclear subs. No one has yet gotten close to crafts that display these traits, so their origins are still unknown. Are they a super top secret US defense project? Do they hail from Russia, China, or from another country, another dimension, another planet? The only thing we do know is that their capabilities exceed any technologies currently in the US arsenal. The only thing we know for sure today is that these five UFO traits, captured on video by Navy fighters, completely defy explanation. I hope you enjoyed this new video. You can find us on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. As usual, don't forget to hit that like button and that bell button too. Don't forget to share the video and to subscribe to Section 51. Thank you. This was Dos Geek with Section 51. I'll be back really soon. Open your eyes, watch the sky, live long and prosper.